Hello, my fellow neurologians. I'm speaking with you and to you as someone who has a neurological disease. One that was hard to diagnose and one that people really don't know and is hard to pronounce. It's called multifocal motor neuropathy. For short, it's called MMN. Say that 10 times fast. I was diagnosed with it out of the blue 11 years ago. For people not familiar with the neurological world like I wasn't, um, this can affect anyone at any time. I mean, it's not like we sit around dreaming of this happening. Good evening, madame. Oh, good evening. Welcome to the Brain Cafe. Oh, thank you. It's so fancy, so lovely in here. Uh, thank you so much. We try to make this a very special place. Oh, it is, it is. Oh, it's so lovely in here. I don't know what to order first. I, I, I think I'll have the multifocal motor neuropathy. An excellent choice, madame. Now, does that come rare or very rare? We only serve it in the most traditional way. Very rare. Now, I see that you have two sides with this. It's so nice. I think I'll have the lupus. An excellent choice will complement the MMN, as we call it, <laughs> perfectly. Um, I think I'll leave the second choice up to you. I would suggest something continental, something from Northern Europe though, to go with everything. I will think uh, the something from Sweden that we are famous for, the Sjogren Syndrome, souffle. Ooh, how continental. Yes. Mm, now I hope all of this will be enough. Oh, believe me, you'll be quite full after this whole meal. You will. Uh, really? And may I start you off now with your soup? Our, our soup of the day is IVIG soup. Oh, so chilled. Oh, lovely. Thank you. That's why neuroscience is essential. Years ago, they didn't even know what I had. They probably thought, it's all in her head. Neurologically speaking, it really is all in my head. My treatments of immunoglobulin are due to the dedicated work of researchers. We have to keep on moving forward because you never know what we're going to discover. This is Pat. She's my home nurse. So today must be an infusion day. Ah, oh, it is. Why can't we do better with our treatments? I mean, my gosh. I mean, for all you know, Pat could be like, it's time for your minute clobulin. And you could be like, oh my gosh, a stick of gum? That's my IVIG treatment? That's crazy. I would love that. Chew briskly several times a day? I can do that. <laughs> and it tastes good too. Oh, that is so good. What's that you say, Pat? What? IVIG lotion? That's wild! You mean a researcher blocked themselves in a room? And now I just have to slather myself all over several times a day? And I get my IVIG? That's crazy! Oh, wow. I feel better already. <laughs> so, you know what? It sounds silly, but you never know what's possible. I mean, all those brilliant researchers are doing all sorts of different things. And you know what? Anything is possible, I've learned. Anything. I mean, researchers are my superheroes for a more productive and healthier tomorrow. Did you say superhero? 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 <laughs>